Chris Watkin here, joined by Sam Watterson, who is a letting agent in Leeds and also a property sourcer. And he has one thing that really pisses him off, and that is pretty boy estate agents who look the part but don't know what the hell they're talking about. Talk to me, Sam. <laughs> yeah, so you turn up at the viewing and there's a guy there in a three-piece suit, normally navy, with brown shoes, um, and you think, you know, this guy's looking the part. And then you try and speak to them about the house or the property and they don't know anything about the house, they don't know anything about planning or licensing or any of the fundamentals, they just look... Do you think they're enough. just there to turn the key and open the door? I don't know. Um, p potentially, yeah, but I just think that there needs to be a focus really on uh, on the service and the knowledge rather than the, the uh, looks. Why do you think estate agents don't know all this information or the ones that you come across in Leeds? Um, I think to be fair to most estate agents, they're probably used to dealing with family houses, selling for owner occupiers, whereas when it's investment properties, it's a completely different ball game, especially with things like the Article 4. Um, for me, I'm immersed in Article 4 because it's in most of the deals I do, so I know a lot about it. Boys and girls out there, Article 4 is a piece of legislation which uh, holds back the number of HMOs in a particular area, Yeah. just in case you don't know. So it's, it's basically, it's a planning, um, a planning issue. And so it's really important as a HMO investor that we've got the right planning. But for a standard letting, an estate agent, they might not deal with that many HMOs, so it might not be something that's part of their day-to-day. -day. Um, but that's, a, that's quite a common one. Thank you for your time today. No problem.